Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, your premier source for Second Amendment news. Hope you're uh, having a great morning thus far. Uh, before we jump into today's news, I want to thank the sponsor of the news today, and that is Gun Pro Deals. Check them out, they get a lot of cool stuff. Uh, you're going to see that XM Light Flamethrower here on the channel very shortly, uh, and they have them back in stock. Uh, so thank you, Gun Pro Deals, for helping us out here. And I also wanted to remind people that there are two giveaway videos going on right now, two giveaways for, uh, for viewers. I'll link them above. The giveaways will take place Saturday and Sunday respectively. There's still time. If you want them, check out those videos. Now let's get into today's news in Rhode Island. Uh, Rhode Island, you got a couple bills that are da very dangerous and uh, they're being uh, snuck along very quietly. In fact, one of them just was transmitted to Governor Gina Raimondo's desk and uh, she's going to sign this. Uh, this is S-2004, and S-2004 was submitted by Cynthia Coyne. She also goes by Cindy, and she's one of your Democrat state senators. If you want to get a hold of her office, I'll have that information down below. But what you need to know is that this bill, S-2004, uh, will, will ban uh, 3D printed guns, ghost guns, and a couple other things that are in this bill. Uh, we'll, go, we'll go over it real quick, and then I'll tell you a couple other bills that are still in committee by the same person, and they do look to do nothing nice at all. Uh, so let's get into this one. So among other things, this bill looks to change definitions in Rhode Island for certain things, and I'll have this bill linked down below as well, so you can read it, especially if you live in the ocean state, you're going to want to know this stuff. Uh, but two of the biggest ones, uh, and let me actually read them so that I don't screw it up. I'm going to start with number eight, and that is the definition for ghost gun. Uh, it says, ghost gun means a firearm, including a frame or receiver. So just the frame or receiver, so your 80% lowers are going to be lumped in here. Uh, that lacks a unique serial number engraved or cased in metal alloy. Uh, uh or cased in metal alloy on the frame or receiver by a licensed manufacturer. If you're reading that and paying attention, that just told you a way to make things work uh, without making it obvious here. Um, or an importer under federal law or markings in accordance with uh, 27 CFR, it's the Rhode Island law. Uh, it does not include a firearm that has been rendered permanently inoperable or a firearm that is not required to have a serial number in accordance with the Federal Gun Control Act of 1968, and that's your antique stuff. Uh, but your frames and receivers are in this, as well as anything 3D printed. And in order for it to not be a ghost gun, it just has to have a unique serial number. Okay. Uh, also, number 10 is machine gun. They're going to change that definition. Machine gun means any weapon that shoots, that is designed to shoot, or can be readily restored to shoot automatically more than one shot without manual reloading by a single function of the trigger. Also, this term includes the frame or receiver of a weapon or any combination of parts designed or intended for use in converting a weapon into a machine gun. You know where they're going to go with all that. And any combination of parts from which a machine gun can be assembled if the parts are in possession or under control of the person. There's a lot of stuff that they can throw into that definition. For obvious reasons, I'm not going to detail that here to make their job easier, but you, you know what I mean. Now this S2004 looks to just amend the existing law, so it's adding stuff to the existing law. And uh, there are a couple things in here that it will spe it specifically bans uh, to include bump stocks, trigger cranks, binary triggers, or any other device that when attached to a semi-automatic weapon will allow full automatic fire. Also related to the ghost guns, their term, not mine, it says no person shall manufacture, sell, offer to sell, transfer, purchase, possess, or have under his or her control a ghost gun or an undetectable firearm or any firearm produced by a 3D printing process. Any person violating this subsection shall be punished by up to 10 years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine for having a piece of plastic. Now, if signed, this bill will take effect uh, they changed it. It was 90 days from the data signature. It's now 30 days after passage. And Governor Gina Raimondo has already expressed interest in signing this bill should it make it to her desk. And it was transmitted to her yesterday. So you know what's happening in Rhode Island there. Uh, I, I just wanted to let everybody know because it does say uh, receiver. So your 80% lowers in Rhode Island are about to become illegal. And she could sign this as early as this morning. Like her office is open right now. Now Cindy Coyne also has a couple other bills in Rhode Island that you may or may not know about, 
but I wanted to bring it out because the way they're written are dangerous. Uh, the first one is uh, Rhode Island S2412, and what that bill looks to do is to limit the uh, issuance of any pistol or revolver carry permit to the office of the Attorney General. That will drastically change how permits are issued in Rhode Island if this makes it to Gina's desk. Right now, as you all know, but if you don't live in Rhode Island, uh, this, the town PDs and stuff like that can issue their permits as well. Well, this looks to stop that and put it in the hands of the Attorney General's office, uh, and it is much harder to get a permit from that office than it is from your local town PD. Not all of them, because some of the towns in Rhode Island are very difficult to get them from, and if you live in Rhode Island, you know what I mean, but uh, this is looking to stop that altogether. S2412 still sits in committee. Uh, I'll keep my eye on it. If you guys in Rhode Island hear something before me, let me know. Uh, but uh, that's a dangerous bill. The next one is dangerous as well. Looks to stop sales, basically. Uh, S2261, still in, uh, in committee. Uh, but this bill, the summary is, provides that applications to purchase firearms be sent by the seller to the police department in the city or town in which the purchaser lives. Really? So listen to that. So I own a gun. Say I live in Cranston. And I want to sell my, whatever, Glock 43 to somebody who lives in Warwick. I, the owner in Cranston, have to send to the Warwick Police Department an application to purchase from that, in, that person who intends to buy the gun. So the police departments are now uh, going to be keeping records. That's a registry. And I'll read you from the bill here because it's terrible. It says, No person shall deliver a pistol or revolver to a purchaser until seven days... Uh, shall have elapsed from 12 o'clock noon on the day following the day of application for the purchase, and when delivered, the pistol or revolver shall be unloaded and securely wrapped uh, with the bill of sale, uh, blah, 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 blah. And they're creating this application uh, to purchase the pistol or revolver, and it has things on there like, uh, obviously, date, time, name, address, date of birth, eyes, eye color, height, weight, color of uh, your hair, scars, tattoos... They want to know everything about everybody and what they're going to buy. All right, so I hope you now are aware of what is happening in Rhode Island. And uh, I've <laughs> hopefully these other bills don't get out of committee, but it sounds like, sounds like they will. Uh, so just want to make you all aware. If you do me a favor, if you live in Rhode Island and you didn't know about this, please forward this to your friends and family that live in Rhode Island. And if you don't live in Rhode Island... Please forward this to as many people as you can so that people in Rhode Island ultimately will get it. You know how the internet works. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you are interested in this type of news, no matter where it happens in the nation, please consider subscribing to Guns and Gadgets. This is where you'll find that news daily. Also, if you could help the channel by giving the video a thumbs up, helps the algorithm so more people can see it. Also, forward this to some friends and toggle that bell icon to all notifications. And it's supposed to let you know when I put out new content because I, sometimes I put out multiple videos a day and if you're not actively checking and you don't have that toggle, you might miss some important news and we don't want that to happen. So thank you all for your time. I appreciate you way more than you know. Until we see each other again, which will probably be very soon, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a weapon. Take care, everybody.